And hello and welcome back, YouTube. It is at 8.37 a.m. Monday, August 22nd, 2022. And uh, 8, did I say 8.30? Did I say p.m.? It's 8.37 a.m. 8.37 a.m. Oh, my God. I am dripping with sweat right now. It is so disgusting. Like, my hair is soaked and my neck and my face is soaked. I'm just grabbing a napkin off my seat trying to wipe up the sweat with it and it's just like I'm wow yeah I'm uh that made me nasty uh yeah maybe not the best time to work on on my recycling but I, I made I made oh my god and I still have no air conditioning oh but I made pretty good progress on it so um that's a good thing I'm happy about that I was actually thinking about selling my recycling today but I'm just so gross and sweaty right now and the other thing i kind of forgot about you know because I, I was taking every taking all the recycling out of my storage and trying to figure out you know how many of these are full full boxes of already crushed material and uh and um realized that yeah that's now it's not the right time to do that because i've got um I got like all my laundry in the car right now too, as I was planning on working on recycling and doing my laundry. In fact, I've been kind of like half-heartedly wanting to get out and do my laundry since like 6 a.m. Um, Coinless Laundry opens at 6, checked about 5.30. I was, you know, working on cleaning my room and cardboard hit me in the head. Uh, working, hang on, I gotta fix that. that is um, I had, uh, Oh my god, and my phone now is crooked as hell, too. Okay. Oh, I just want to turn on the cold air right now, and I can't. Oh, it's killing me. And I'm just so hot and nasty and sweaty right now. I'm just having some cold air blowing in here with Jeep. Just make all the difference in the world. Ugh. It's like it's still my drink. The ice is still intact. That's a good thing. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, big change here in the hood. I got to turn around and highlight this. Dude, because I slow down doesn't mean you slow down. It's like wanting that guy to pass me, so I slow down in the right lane and he just starts driving slower. What the hell? So for years and years and years, there was a, a new cabaret over here on Van Buren. Changed names several times. I think the last iteration, it was called Pink Rhino. And the place has been sitting empty for years, and it looks like they're about to open as a Mexican nightclub. Um, Bandoleros nightclub is what the sign says, and we got some... Ooh, I'm glad I didn't just keep driving. We got chains here. I was going to drive right in there, too. God, I'm glad I looked a little closer. <laughs> um, yeah, on the sign, they got the 101.9 FM... Uh, 101.9 FM, uh, get that back in view for y'all, 101.9 FM, um, whatever you call that, like, uh, some kind of an advertisement, I don't, I don't know what you call that, it's like, it's like a plastic temporary kind of sign thing wrapped around the sign, but obviously that's, that's the radio station having promote them, uh, that station plays, uh, regional Mexican music, so, you know, uh, Tejano and Banda and that kind of stuff. Um, and definitely very, very, you know, popular with the, the, uh, with the, uh, the, uh, um, Latino community here in, uh, Phoenix. So, um, wow. I'm, uh, I'm actually kind of excited to see something. Oh, wow. And you can't really see it. And I'm not going to be able to twist my, I don't even pull my phone out the mountain right there. You see, they got a pretty nice sign. Get my zoom going here. Boop. Pretty nice sign looking on the building too. You got the address all big so you can see it and so people can find it and uh, put a put a nice nice sign on the building. I uh wow, I uh wish this place well. I uh I, I hope I hope they succeed. This is a uh, definitely an economically depressed part of town and it has been for a long time. And it would be great to see a business uh, succeed in this area. So um yeah, pretty cool stuff. Well, meanwhile, Linux property over has got a sign that says available real estate sign. And then it's got signs saying there's construction going on there. So I don't know what's up with that. 
used car lot that's been there for a long time the parking spot yeah there's a lot of uh, off property airport parking down here and of course we got random to be fair that guy is where he's walking is more or less a uh, one mark crosswalk but yeah uh, anyway, um, for those who don't know, I'm on East Van Buren, just rolling out of my, my storage at U Store. Uh, so yeah, rough time to be working on um, working on uh, recycling. I am just absolutely saturated in sweat. It's uh, pretty disgusting. Um, yeah, the uh, yeah the humidity is super super high from the storm last night, and the. Uh, I don't know what the temperature is. I guess I can check check my iPhone. Oh god, it is such a mammoth pain in the ass to log into this thing. I I, uh, I should maybe try and get a hold of uh, try and get a hold of Jeff and uh, see if um, see if he can maybe help me get into my uh, my original iPhone 6s Plus that he. Uh, that he um, sold me since I have that back, or I, I guess I've had it for quite some time, you know. But that I have that like where I know where it is and is accessible. Um, and I'm not sure if I finished the story of like how I how I got it back, how I found it. So Priscilla, about a week ago, was pulling some stuff out of my out of my closet. Uh, it, it was kind of irritated because I'd already told her not to put anything back in my closet, but she put shit back in my closet. Anyway, she's taking it out and she's reaching up. Actually, reaching out for these pants that I bought for her many, many, many years ago that were a little bit smaller than she was at the time, but at the time she was claiming that she was working out and was going to lose weight, and she's like, no, no, get them, I'll fit into them soon. And then, of course, after that, she proceeded to get uh, bigger and bigger, and it just her fitting into those pants just became a bit of a pipe dream. Anyway, she's actually lost a lot of weight lately, and um, she was kind of reaching for them to see if they would fit. If, if, if she maybe lost enough weight for them to fit, since she's she's actually lost enough. Okay, I don't know what that guy's doing parked there. Oh, he is broke now. Wow, the tow truck sitting there waiting for a tow truck. That's rough. Um, yeah, so... Uh, anyway, yeah, she's been showing me where she doesn't fit into a lot of her pants now because she has, has lost so much weight, and uh, that's a good thing. It's looking... It's... Yeah, she's looking better for it, for sure. Uh, anyway, um, and she was reaching to see if she could get those down and would fit in them now, and um, knock down my iPhone box that my second iPhone 6S Plus came in. Uh, my second one, I had actually purchased, so I just needed it in a hurry. My uh, phone was stolen from in front of her old, uh, Priscilla's old apartment. Um, I mean, I guess kind of my bad. I left my car unlocked for a moment, but you know, whatever. Fucking, I, I hate thieves. You know, <laughs> like even people that are constantly checking, uh, you know, vehicle doors to see if they can steal shit out of vehicles. There's a special place in hell waiting for them. Um, but yeah, like at that time, like having a phone, particularly having an iPhone, was pretty crucial to my income. My main source of income was being a lime juicer, and. Uh, I was hoping to get another one from Jeff, and I just, I didn't have time to wait. I went to Cricket, and they had what I felt was a pretty good deal on a fully, fully under warranty, uh, factory refurbished, uh, in the box as new, um, from Apple, um, iPhone 6S Plus, ready to go for Cricket. And, um, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an unlocked phone. I think most every phone you buy from Cricket is unlocked just because they're they're a prepaid prepaid phone service and and you do pay you know you don't generally speaking with, with Cricket unless they've changed which is possible they have but at least at that time when you bought a phone from Cricket you were paying full price for that phone so um, anyway I think that phone's unlocked I don't think it matters I think that one has been actually stolen stolen from me actually no that would be the one that's like broken in half it's somewhere misplaced in my apartment i have four iphone x pluses now that i'm thinking about it but anyway the very first one uh so when i what about the second one i I'd taken the box and put the phone out and and i didn't even use the accessories in the box the accessories are still in the box and they're like new along with all the paperwork and what i had completely forgot that i did is when i got the first one back because it did get re recovered by the 10p police which is crazy like it's almost unheard of for a 
you know, a cell phone that you report stolen to actually get returned by the police. Like that just never happens, but I got lucky and it did. Uh, somebody had taken it to one of those kiosks inside, I believe inside Walmart, where you plug in, where you can, you know, sell your phones for cash and you plug in your phone and then it does like a diagnostic of it and it, you know, gives you a, gives you an, uh, an offer of what they want to pay for your cell phone and iPhones do tend to generate have more resale value than any other kind of phone um, even older ones um, and uh, anyway he uh, yeah but I guess what they didn't know is if the IEMI comes back that it's a stolen phone the drawer doesn't open back up but you don't get it <laughs> it just it just goes into the machine as if the machine had purchased it and gets reported to the police as a recovered stolen phone so i'd imagine that thief was highly disappointed that not only did he lose his stolen goods but he didn't get any money for it but uh yeah that's uh kind of a dumb thing for a criminal to do anyway especially if it's the person that actually stole the phone now if it's a person that, that you know bought it secondhand or whatever you know still like come on dude where'd you get that phone from what do you think the chances are of it being stolen um anyway what i completely forgot is that i had put put that phone in my uh is that i had put that phone in my um oh damn rob's got a big old puddle in his yard in his lot uh, I had put that. I had put that phone in um, in the box that I my I had bought my put my my refurbished one came in and I completely forgot about that. Now I tried to I tried to fire that phone up when I got it and it's locked and I don't have the code to unlock it and whoever had it had, had apparently managed. Honestly, I think it was sitting on and, and it probably had full access to my phone because I think it was probably sitting unlocked because I was actively actively juicing at the time so it was probably sitting fully unlocked in my car when they stole it so that's kind of on me for not being more secure with my car and with my phone man I just didn't ah, thieves fuck thieves uh anyway yeah the uh, anyway when i got it and i powered it up like it was it had a pass password on it that i couldn't get past although i do believe that phone is still i do believe that phone is still in my in my uh, in my iCloud as belonging to me, if I, as long as I can get it, um, get a factory set on it. Anyway, I don't know how to do that. I mean, I could maybe look up on Google on how to do it, but I'd much rather Jeff help me with it. So, um, anyway, temperature right now surprisingly it's only 40, 84 degrees, but uh, I wonder. I'm opening up my weather widget on my new iPhone. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not. Okay, there's the air quality. Um, trying to see where it shows the humidity. So 84 degrees, feels like 88. Humidity is making it feel warmer, no shit. Oh yeah, it's 59% humidity right now. Yeah, that's not normal for Phoenix. That's because we had that big storm last night. So yeah, it was pretty brutal working in the uh, working on the recycling. So I just, I, I mean, I did get a substantial amount done. Uh, had all the boxes you know piled up and sorted as far as ones ready to go to the recyclers. And I'm like, what am I thinking? I've got all my laundry in my car. I don't have room for recycling in my car. I mean, to make it worth the while, I literally need to have all the space in my car dedicated to recycling. So anyway, I'm here at Rob's. I got to go in the bad news that the air conditioning has gone back out. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how this is going to go, but I don't think it's going to go good. So y'all wish me luck.